Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here. We're going into the final path in 7.4.4. Should be interesting. Um, we are using this team. Going on this outside path. We got Paradox Block. Gain a Paradox from um, pairing. We get Prowess, 30% um, potency on um, our special attack rating on our specials. And then on the knockdown, we lose a Paradox. We Glance, if we don't have three or more Paradox, Counter Strike, and go fully unblockable. And then Prey on the weak, we're gonna gain power as our buffs are expiring don't really have too many buff heavy champs really the only one is nimrod but i think we'll be okay so we're gonna go on this last path top top path um and for these first two fights i'm gonna use apocalypse um and then I'm going to use Apocalypse. There's an Elsa on the path as well. Alright, so we're glancing. We need to be mindful of the Dexes. So he doesn't get extra power gain. Alright, now we're gonna knock him down. Which means, yeah, so you can just parry heavy right here. Parry gives a paradox, heavy knockdown gives it right back. Which is kind of nice. Easy way to manage the. Uh, Paradox charges without having to get into like the glancing and stuff like that. Um, Alright, we're going to do a concussion next. Refresh our debuffs. But if you were to spam heavy in the corner, which normally you can do with APOC, that's not gonna go too well. Alright, now we're gonna get the D gen. We got four paradox. It's pretty solid damage right there. We're gonna let him dance that out. Paradox, special one. We're not gonna try to lock these in because we're he's almost dead. All right, that should do it. Okay, that went pretty clean. Not too bad. One charge. One genetic code added. We're going to use um, APOC on this Agent Venom. Can't shrug the stuns and all that, which is nice. We have to be mindful of Dexing his specials, though. Alright, 
and right, throw it. There we go. Here's the poison. This one we're gonna use thing he's shock immune doom can do this fight too but class disadvantage it's not ideal um, too, but you know, whatever. I'll block it. Already the last part of it. Just a power steam. And petrify. Almost to max. Fury, get in there. We got Human Torch on the team, so every time we parry, we just automatically convert. Whoa, 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 Paradox. Dang it, I wasn't paying attention to that. Man, she does not want to throw. Come on. Paying attention, or had she been a little bit more aggressive, that would have gone more smooth, and I wouldn't have taken that big damage. But that's that's a lot of damage, and that was what I think that was reduced because I had um, 20 rock stacks. I didn't have the protection up, but it would have been reduced by 20%. All right, for this dude, I probably could use Torch. I'm gonna use Nimrod. I'm going to save all the health that I got for the boss. Get those armor ups going. Get to eradicate protocol. 
Miss Adex. Alright, here we go. Am I gonna have damage? And I can't reflect it back because it's passive. Nice try though. Alright, parry, one hit, heavy, spam the heavy. Special two. Lots more shock damage. You reach end a bunch of it, that's great. Oh, pray on the weak. I have not been paying much attention to that. Probably because I don't really have a lot of chance that are doing much debuffs, but this guy's toast now. So, okay. We got one more fight. Two more fights. One, Elsa. Elsa and Argus. Alright. Elsa, we're gonna get our last charge genetic code on Apocalypse. Yeah, so the nice thing about this is once you get enough, once you get enough Paradox, you just parry heavy and you stay right where you're at. You get one and then you lose one. I don't think it's gonna push her to special two, nope. We lost the poison. That's all right. special was really nice with the paradox special attack damage bonus all right now we got got this Arcus all right we don't have any paradox We're going to be throwing several specials. Let's see how this is going to work. I'm just going to get off a couple more parries. There we go. Steal all these. 
Give it a special three. I should come out of this okay. Should survive this though. Yep. All right, let's go. Get some adrenaline back. There we go. All right, path is done. Cleared it pretty clean. Get some of that tier five basic. Now we're gonna go, we didn't get the solo on this mojo, which I think this mojo is, it, it's a hard one. Really dependent on the RNG. Um, I tried I tried with Spider-Man 2099 and failed. Um, I'm gonna try with my Red Guardian. He's unawakened. He doesn't get buffs. We're gonna try it. It really depends on the RNG. Obviously depends on the skill too. This isn't an, this is not an easy fight. So every time we block, we gain a fury. Not gonna happen. Double shield. Okay, gotta keep mindful of that. Degen. So we resist up to 90% degen damage. And the potency is reduced by flat. 30% for each of the attacker's build bars. 30. Alright, so if we get a degen, we can knock him down and transfer it. And if we're at low power, we're at low power, we get 90% resistance. <sighs> Gotta keep that in mind. So we want to stay low power. And we want to heavy or special knock this dude down. special attack here. That's fine. Oh, what? 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 How did I get clipped by that? He's at four prompts. What's his prompt? Dodge a hit. Oh, great. Get him back down to zero. <sighs> Why am I? All right, let's get some adrenaline heal back. Getting clipped. Dodge a hit. All right, we can block. Another dodge a hit. Very special. 
<sighs> All right, now we got bubble shields. All right, bubble shields gone until we get to twenty. Charge a heavy attack. Make you fail this. Alright, we gotta get out of the corner here. I didn't block it, I just ate it. <laughs> Got the first two, it didn't get that one. Well, we're not gonna get the solo on this guy, but yeah. All right, let's, um, let's see if we can't get the one-two punch with, with Torch. So we gotta remember, if we heavy knock him down, we can transfer the D-Gens. Heavy counter is going well. Alright, this this actually went really well. I probably could have just soloed it with torch had I remembered and read the note about the transfer. Of the T-Gen. All right, that's that's fine though. That's fine. It was fun to try with Red Guardian. So that went pretty well. We are done with seven four four. We have two chapters, two parts of the seven four left. Um, we're getting catalysts left and right right now. Inventory is looking pretty dang awesome. Check this out. Lots of alphas and tier one. There's certain so tier twos. And then here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve tier five basics in the overflow. Definitely need that. Um but yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped give you some ideas for that path. Um, hopefully the torch play is uh, helpful as well. I didn't really consider that the first time around with the D-Chen transfer. So um, definitely could have soloed had I gone back and had I just started that from the beginning. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.